Hello everyone, my name is Zamani and welcome back to Silver Creek Falls Chapter 2. Um, excuse me, so, at the end of the last episode, you know, I just played it and I can't remember what happened. I think I'm just too focused on the future of what's going on. Oh right, we just talked to the guys, the guy in the car accidents, his miss, his, he's missing, we just talked to his wife, checked out his office, maybe he's involved with the mafia, I don't know, he's got guns and stuff, and we're gonna go talk to this person's contact in Jersey Trenton. We're not meeting him in there, we're meeting him out here somewhere. Didn't he specify where he wanted to meet? Not really, he just gives a general location and moves around till we meet. He does this in case he gets tailed. Makes sense, I guess. Here? But it's really seedy. Where are we meeting again? One of my contacts with the Lucio family. The Lucio family? I don't think I've heard of them. Unless you were born in the 1960s, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have had. They were one of the big mafia families of New Jersey back in the day. But thanks to bitter infighting and very poorly planned wars with other families, the clan is all but completely annihilated. After the war, they had to swear a fealty to the Spinola family to stop them being completely destroyed. They, they survive running a small chain of illegal gambling saloons in the tri-state area. So this guy is a mole? Not exactly. The Lucio family sells the FBI information in exchange we turn a blind eye on the ring of gambling saloons. I know the Lucio family well. Like I even get invited to their weddings and birthdays. Interesting. That's so sketchy, do you go? Of course, why wouldn't I? They always have awesome food. Well, yeah. You're an interesting one. Objective find the Mafia informant. I'm assuming that's said uh, this way. What is this on the ground? Click, 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 nothing. What about this one? Click, 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 nothing. Okay, the other way. Da, 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 da. Is this anything? Nope. Is he in the Stratkin? Puke. I hate you sometimes. Did he just vomit? Here? Is it in this house? Uh, no, I don't want to do it again. Is it here? Is it this door? Nope. Ah, is that him? The one that looks like a mafia gangster just because he has a blue mohawk? Purple mohawk? Lots of scars. Hey, what are you looking at? Apparently it's not that guy. Oops. No, I don't want- Oh my gosh, I'll stop clicking on doors, okay? Is it up this way? And I'm doing a lot of traveling. Is it this guy? If you guys want to enter this club, you'll need some ID. Club? Yikes, want to party here. Wait, if you don't have any business here, get the hell out. Okay. Can I go back here? No. Is it this guy? Hey, no ID, no entry. This is an exclusive club. <laughs> exclusive? <laughs> Please, the only thing this place excludes is hygiene. That's funny. What is this freaking town? Can I go this way? No. I can't find this guy! I'm assuming he's probably really like freaking close or something to where I started and I just... Uh, unless that's him right there! I found him! Yeah. Hey Marco, how you doing? Special Agent Valdez, who brings you to our humble neck of the woods. Just the usual, see some old friends, maybe pick up some salami and cheese at... Tornatores. Who knows, might drop by for dinner at... Gusepes? I don't know. Tona Torres, eh? Sleazy dog, you're there You're there to see old Giacomo's daughter, aren't you? Giacomo? I don't know. What are you talking about, Paisan? She's just a kid. Come on, don't act all innocent. Everyone knows she's been legal for at least three years now. Ha ha. That ass man is broad with you. FBI too? Is she on the level? Yeah, she's on the level. Sarah, this is Marco. Marco, this is Sarah. Hey, how you doing? Hi. I see, just the way I like him. <laughs> what did you say, you piece of- Easy there, Fitzgerald. Remember we're on their territory. 
My tongue is everywhere. Make it quick. Hey Marco, check this out. Does this ring look familiar to you? Oh yeah, I know this ring. What can you tell us about it? It's the ring worn by the Spinola family members, right? Not quite. Two snakes around the halberd? Yeah, that's made by the Spinolas, but it ain't for them. When I saw Matteo Spinola in Vegas, he had a ring like this. Similar, yes, but not the same. See the crest? One of the snakes has a red eye and the other has a green eye. That means this person works for the Spinola family. The person who we found this on was a hedge fund manager. Maybe the Spinola family was one of their customers. Only customer. The Spinola family doesn't like to share. If this guy had the ring, that means he worked directly for the Spinola family, but wasn't a member of the family. The Spinola family demand absolute loyalty. They never hire outsiders. For example, a lawyer that works for the Spinola family exclusively works for the Spinola family and doesn't take any other clients. Same goes for their barbers, dentists, accountants, etc. Wow, you better freaking pay them well then. Holy crap, you don't, you're not going to them every day. I get it. it, makes keeping information secret a lot easier. Exactly. Okay, so Mateo's ring is different? Okay, so if you're a member of the family, extended family included, then you wear a ring with two diamonds for the eyes of the two snakes. If you're a member of one of the satellite families, like mine, then you wear a ring with the eyes of purple. Seems like a pretty complicated way of doing things. The Spinolas have grown so strong and powerful that they got tons of families and professionals working for them. This is so we can identify each other in the real world, and is also used as a means for the Spinolas to both get the smaller families. I get it. Do you know anything about a guy called Connor Friedman? The name doesn't ring a bell. Is he the owner of this ring? Yep, I think he may have been their hedge fund manager. Hedge fund manager? Oh yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. Really? You know where we can find him? Sorry to tell you this, but he's probably sleeping with the fishes. What? Let me explain. During the financial crisis, a lot of investment bankers and hedge fund managers turned to the Mafia to cover their losses. I think this Connor Friedman guy was one of them. Anyway, so I know the Spinolas hired a bunch of them uh, to look into emerging markets. It was a pretty fair deal if you ask me. All I asked was that they swear loyalty and work for them for the rest of their lives. In exchange, they got a bunch of these guys out of debt. The Spinolas made an absolute killing on this little operation. Now, I heard that one of these hedge fund managers got greedy and was satisfied with the yearly wage the Spinolas gave them. So this bozo started skimming profits from the top and pocketing them himself. He got away with this for a whole year. Then one day, the Spinola accountant starts looking at the books, and it's as clear as day this guy is stealing money. I hear he stole a car and tried to drive south to Mexico. I don't know what exactly happened, but from what I could tell, he was taken care of. You sure it's this guy? Not really, just repeating what I heard around. Might be some other guy. I could ask around, but it might gather some unwanted attention. I get you. That's fine. We can leave it at that for now. One last question. Anything for you, sweet cheeks? Ugh. Do you know anything about Bolt Pharmaceutical? The guy that makes some aspirins? In relation to the Spinolas or Lucio's? Nothing really. Aren't they a foreign company? Do you know if the Spinolas were doing any special business with them or anything? Or what relation Connor Friedman would have to them? That's kind of specific, and to be honest, way up of my pay grade. Only the Don, some of the Capos, and Consigliere would know those type of details. Okay then, Marco, thanks for all your help. Say hi to your mother for me, okay? Alrighty, righty, righty! That is not the way to go. Can I check out any of these buildings now? Head back to the car. Ah, I thought so. It's an easy way back to the car. Not that way. Probably the way I came. Was it this way? Nope, that one's blocked up. Man, I must have just been lucky with the way I came. Or it was just obvious from the bottom, but not so obvious from the top. Da, 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 da. So much walking that we have to do. That's not the way to go again. Just 
Check this building. All right. I made it. To the car. Clickety-click. The Moma Trenton. Wow, that was some fast travel. I'm guessing we're gonna... What? This looks really similar to our hotel in Philadelphia. Welcome to the Beaumont Trenton! Beaumont? It's part of the same chain! Yes, they have an excellent rewards program, you know. If we're gonna stay at such a similar hotel, why don't we just stay at the Beaumont in Philadelphia? Philadelphia and Trenton are just an hour away from each other. At least I could have unpacked and left my luggage there. You have a point there. On the subject, this Beaumont chain sure has some nerve with the naming of their hotels. We're 20 miles away from Trenton! They're affordable and nice, so I happen to like them. I don't mind the drive. They treat me very well, you know. Of course they do. You're their best customer. You're probably the only one signed up for the loyalty program. You must know there's a very special reason we're doing this. I'll tell you inside. Does that have to do with the Mafia? Alright. Hey, dude. We're inside. Talk to me. Okay, what is your special reason? Yes, let's go talk closer to the front desk person. Firstly, this case seems quite dangerous, so we shouldn't sleep in the same place twice in a row. Fair enough. Secondly, this chain belongs to the Spinola family. What? A lot of the big couples stay in this ch in this chain. You'd have to be an idiot to try anything funny here. I have to say you're one of the weirdest cops I've ever met, but I gotta admit you have a point. It's now my first rodeo. Hey, about today. I think we should tell Leia Friedman that her husband is probably dead. Nah, I'd rather confirm it before having to send that message. Besides, I'll probably let an officer from Philly deliver the news. I hate telling people that sort of thing. Otherwise, I'd have gone to med school, right? Med school. Right. Alright, let me in. If there's a cat here in the morning, I'm gonna be pissed! Mr. Valdez, welcome back. Hi, Ricardo. Thank you. Two single rooms, please. Oh, and here's my loyalty card. It's okay, we already have you on record. Why am I not surprised? Oh, you also have a package from Mr. De Luca. Oh, could it be? Yes, so I need to call him tonight and thank him. What did you get? Culatello from the em Emilia Romagna region in Italy. It's this exquisite and very rare ham. I'm so excited. Tell Mr. De Luca how pleased you were. Also, here are your room keys. Stefano from our Philadelphia hotel called to tell me you were coming. Same rooms as before. 903 for you, Mr. Valdez, and 803 for you, Miss Fitzgerald. Thank you, Ricardo. Sarah, I'm going to go to the bakery and pick up some bread for this ham. They have some really awesome bakeries here. Want to come with? There might be some ham in it for you. I'm okay, thanks. It looks a bit rich for my taste. Well, if you're interested, the bakery is just across the car park. No, I'm going ahead of you. Take that. Whoa, I can I can leave. Okay, cool. Just across the car park, he said. Is that this way? Is that over here? Did, did you lie to me? Did I have gone out every single night? And no one told me? I see nothing! You lied to me. Sit down... this way? Nope. Is it this way? Car park. Car park. Car park. Nope. Can I take his car? Click. What's the point? Why did you even let me outside if I can't go anywhere? That's creepy. Do I have to wait for him to leave and then I can follow him? Yes, I'm aware of where I am. Click, click, click. Nope. Oh, across the street. Nothing? Oh, I understand. Whatever. Let's go to bed. Let's just go to bed. Bed, 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 bed. Weather channel? Man, nothing's ever on the sports channels for you, girl. See a bunch of small shops. Wait, I can actually go? Where is the bakery I'm in? Walk towards our car park, then cross the road right in front of you. After you cross, you'll see a bunch of small shops. 
So did I have to wait for him to leave? So I can go. What the heck? I know where I am. I can't go that way. So... Does that mean I can just go across here? No. What the fuck? Alright, I can't figure it out. So if you guys can figure it out, let me know. Because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm just gonna go to bed. Or something. Take me to the penthouse! <sighs> I wanna go to the penthouse. No, stop! Go back! Can I go in this room? Why is 801 always open? Click, click, click. 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 I bet you anything there's something here! Ah, crap, wait. Another letter. Yes. Dear Mr. Lou, I received your most generous gift and I'm very grateful to you. I trust you picked this up in your last business trip to Moscow? Just received your new plan. I must say this plan is so clever. Not only will it give the clown run for his money, but many, maybe e may even displace the Italians and the Koreans operating in the area. You must act quickly if we are to make this a success. I trust your people are ready. Mine are. Kind regards, Diego de la Santa Cruz Ortega. Hmm, looks like this alliance is talking on more than... On more than the clown. He sounds really powerful. Is that gonna be important? Not open again. And here's my room again. This room is identical! No shiznit. The pets are playing tonight. Let's watch. Nothing? You don't want to sleep for today. Yes. Day three! All right, guys, that's all the time I have for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. And next episode, I'm thinking we're going to be finishing up chapter two. I have a feeling that we're not very close to solving this case and that there will be further chapters. However, I will still play and I will still enjoy it. And then I will still be sad when it's not done. But we'll find out. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.